So yesterday, my wife, who happens to be a painter, that's one of her paintings right behind me there, um, she had accidentally misplaced her uh, some of her paints. And um, we were hoping they were in the car because we had just taken a little trip. So we walked to the car where it was parked, which was a eh, good couple minutes from our apartment. And um, we were walking back. In fact, we had uh, her paints with us because she had left them in the car. Very good, because those paints, um, actually, the, uh, uh, she had just bought a whole bunch of new ones, and some of her paint supplies had come from her great-grandma um, that she had received them as a gift from her great-grandma when she was, like, 10 or 11. So they meant something to her, and we were glad. We were walking back, and she was doing some window shopping. Doing some window shopping, I was behind her, she was walking forward, and in this culture, Denmark, here, Copenhagen, it's a bike culture, there's bike lanes for everything. You ride your bike in a bike lane, you don't ride it on the sidewalk. So there was this guy coming up behind me and swerved around me on his bike on the sidewalk and he tried to go around her to her left just as she was stepping to her left. So he almost clipped her and she said, because she is not interested in taking any of that stupid shit, she said, put your bike on the street, not on the sidewalk. And he said, excuse me, he stopped. She repeated herself. And he opened his wallet and said, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a guard. And, uh, you know, he's like some kind of watchman for some place. But he wasn't on duty. And he's not a traffic cop. And he, you know, what the fuck does that mean? He was wearing a pair of sandals, a pair of shorts with frayed edges, and uh, an, open, uh, an open safari shirt. You know, he was not working at that moment, and what does that mean? <laughs> I'm a guard, and he opened his wallet to show him. There's no authority there. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I work at fucking Burger King, and I can see that you're eating your fries improperly, you know? So anyway, they got into a tussle back and forth, and finally I said to both of them, I said, you know, cut it out, just get away from each other and let's go. And she was kind of steaming about that stuff and he was probably steaming about that stuff and then we continued on our merry way. Flash forward a few more, uh, you know, another, another 300 feet and we stop at a supermarket because she needed to get some dinner stuff for us. So I was waiting outside and then she comes back out and when she comes back out, he pulls up from out of nowhere and gets in her face on his bike and says, you ought to watch yourself. And, you know, this is COVID times. We're aware that, you know, he didn't have a mask. People don't have masks on here because it's pretty tame here, although the government is saying you should wear masks more. So I immediately stepped in between them because no one's going to, you know, do that to my wife. So I got in between them, I stared right at, him, right at him, pointed my finger an inch from his face and said, you get the fuck away from my wife right now. And, you know, because I'm not inherently a nice guy all the time, I tend to turn my, uh, my other cheek. But she was, said something to him, and I said again, because he was talking to her, and I made eye contact with him, and I said, hey! really loud, right at his face, pointing my finger really loud, New York style. Interrupted him every time he tried to say something. And then I said, you stay right there. We're walking away. And I moved my wife away, and we kept going. And then he tried to call after me, and I turned around, pointed, and I yelled really loudly, hey, every time he tried to say something. And people probably thought I was a jerk, but I knew the truth. And then we continued on our merry way. What the fuck? The day was, oh my God, where are these precious heirloom paints that my wife cherishes, and some of which are new that she just bought? 
in this box from her great grandma. Thank God we had a, you know, they were where she was hoping they would be because they weren't in the house. And then this guy comes along like a fucking crazy guy and forces me to turn from, you know, pleasant little Paul to, you know, angry American troll. My wife was very frustrated at me because I was, uh, you know, she said, you know, you can't get too close to people like that. I said, I got in between you two to defend you and protect you. That's what I do. And she said, you'll be of no use to me if you catch Corona because you'll end up giving it to me. And I said, you're right. But the fact is that he, he's not gonna, he's, he's not gonna do that to you ever. And uh, we walked back kind of silently, and when she got back, she was okay with me because, you know, now I'm going to go actually get tested tomorrow because there's free testing just to make sure. Probably nothing, but holy shit. Okay, you gave me a story. That was my story of yesterday. <laughs> See ya.